It starts at the grassroots level. And through hustle and hard work, the word is spread, the people become aware, and a movement is formed. I'm Ryan Katz, and it's my pleasure and my honor to be a part of the movement as MCW Movement Championship Wrestling presents Hecatomb 2 this Saturday live in Eustis, Florida. Get your tickets now through Eventbrite, or you can also get them day of show at the door. But be sure to get your tickets and be in the building at the Meaningful Milestones Academy so you can see a night of family-friendly fun and excitement like only Movement Championship Wrestling can bring. You see the details there on the screen, so let's talk about the wrestlers and let's talk about the matches. It'll be a grudge match like no other as Bison XL brings his brute strength, power, and intensity against his opponent who's out for vengeance, violence, and destruction, the UK Lion, Joey Osborne. Last show, Osborne attacked Bison after losing a lumberjack match, and MCW management has made the decision that this match will take place in a Falls Count Anywhere stipulation. It's Hecatomb 2, and we'll be seeing the return to Eustis of AEW superstars Kiera Hogan and Diamante. Last time in the Meaningful Milestones Academy, Diamante and Hogan led a brutal attack on the arm of Catalina Perez, one half of the MCW Women's Tag Team Champions VIB, leaving Perez screaming in agony and out of action with an injury. In addition, Catalina Perez's partner and co-champ Lexi Gomez is nowhere to be found and I'm left wondering who's going to be able to stop Diamante and Kiera Hogan's path of dominant destruction. At our last show, the technical alchemist David Mercury was wrestling a match against Gus De La Vega when during the match De La Vega's new insurance policy, Rich Porteala, Chloroform Mercury's manager Wiley, dragging him to the back, and we learned kidnapping him from the building. We've since received a video of Wiley tied to a chair and being tortured by De La Vega and Ayala, leaving the technical alchemist furious and upping the stakes from business to personal. Be in attendance this Saturday to see how David Mercury handles the situation and if he's able to return Wiley safely home. It's all about the movement and the movement has been creating momentum, especially for the Hawaiian warrior Kokoa, who's been on a winning streak and seems to be establishing himself as the number one contender for the MCW title. But looking to spoil the plans of Kakoa is the notorious VIN Vinny Mac. Vinny seems to find a way to win, and regardless of his dirty tactics or not, also wants to lay claim to the number one contender spot. The stakes are high as only one man can come out of Hecatomb 2 with claims to a championship opportunity. Everything I said would be enough, but enough is not enough for MCW as the main event is the must-see match of the movement. I said you would want to be in attendance for this show, and it's because this main event, World War Trios. Two rings, four teams, two titles on the line. The MCW Championship hanging over one ring, and the MCW Tag Team titles hanging over the other. The Russell Twins have until Saturday to find a partner as they go to war with the team of Alex Todd, Takuri, and Garada, who will also be stepping into combat against Fly Death and Mil Muertes. But we can't forget about La Sangra, as Romeo, Vertigo, and Ramos will fight for their championship rights. This will be a night you will never forget, and you have to be in Eustace to see it live. Don't miss this incredible night of action as Movement Championship Wrestling brings Hecatomb 2 to the Meaningful Milestones Academy. The moment is near. The movement is clear. And you should be here. I'm Ryan Katz, and I'll see you Saturday night for MCW's Hecatomb 2.